Uh, Brad said, I wonder if they go with a final tag match like Japanese wrestlers do a lot of the time and you put for the season Muda. That's I, I could also see that just because I, that's kind of how they've always protected Sting uh, yeah. in this capacity is to let him. That's why he's always in tag matches and sometimes trios because obviously we saw him do uh, the dudes with attitude with <laughs> them and Darby and uh, and Shigo Takagi at Forbidden Door. And then he wrestled, I believe he did a trios match at the, he was in a trios match at the, the, uh, bye-bye show. Right. I believe it was yes, him. Yeah. Yeah. So I could see, match. yeah, I could definitely it was see. Really great. Yeah. I could see something like that. <laughs> Brad said, we also need one match of surfer sting. That would be so much fun. I hope we can, I hope somebody can convince him. I hope him he to does do some that. stuff. <laughs> like if you, whatever, I mean go for it bro like you've got a few more months now i know that's like january february time frame is when revolution because that's uh one of the first pay-per-views we ever did as par bombshell yes Parker. it is post, post shows yes. was a revolution show and it may have even been like i think it was one right after but wow i mean like it's a big one but i'm glad it's here it and i'm glad that we have an AEW so that he can have too. a good retirement however he wants to do it and however mm -hmm. they decide to go out like that. yeah and i'm very curious as to because tony keeps you know they keep promoting that tony's got something very special for sting on wednesday um and some people have thrown out the idea of maybe it's like a like a ceremonial not ceremonial what's the word i want to use uh, well i guess it is kind of serial but basically a title just to commemorate him what he's done in his career and just kind of giving him some sort of, I guess, f physical memento of his career or something like that, which that seems kind of likely. And again, some people are like, Oh, is it going to be a hall of fame announcement? <laughs> which I guess if they decide they're going to be like, Hey, we have a, there's no, we're, uh, we're going into year five. So it's time to have a hall of fame. And so we're going to put sting in it. I mean, it could we're be that inaugurate yeah. and have be this, this, yeah. I bleh, pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I did joke though, not that this would be the announcement, but maybe just down the road. And I was like, they're not going to bring Goldberg in, right? And have him wrestle Sting. I mean, I like, never say never. <laughs> I was like, are we, is that going to happen? I, I you know, looking for a reason to bring Goldberg in. People are always <laughs> trying to get, people everywhere are always seeming to try to be trying to bring Goldberg in for whatever. Yeah. I mean, I get it. He was a huge, I get it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I do too. Strong. I get it. I, you know, I, not really. I may not be, it's not my stuff, jam, but I get it. He was, I, I'm not really a fan of the WWE stuff, especially at the end. I uh, hated some, a lot of that stuff. Um, but I, I mean, when I was watching WCW, like I, I loved Goldberg. Like I loved that stuff. Like oh, I thought, yeah. I loved the streak. I loved all of that stuff. So like, so then that was like, this could be a way for them to convince Goldberg to come in. I mean, it's, we'll give you Sting. I don't know if Sting I mean, wants if Sting that. Wants that. <laughs> I don't know if he does. But I, so I kind of wondered. I was like, is this how they get? Like, I don't think it's going to be his final match or anything like that. But I'm Or, or Sting's final match. But I was curious. It wouldn't shock me, though. Say. It really wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, if he <laughs> showed up, like, on full gear or something like that, that would not, like, blow my mind. I would not yeah. be as shocked as some people would be. <laughs> <laughs> Brad said, I don't want Goldberg anywhere near AEW, but if it's a one-off for Sting and nothing else, I can swallow that. I won't like eating it and it won't go down easy, but that's it. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm... Exactly. I don't know. And I don't know if it would be something that Sting's even interested in, but I was like, that could be... They, You know, Tony says that, you know, he's friends with, with Bill and he, you know, he keeps trying to find a reason for Bill to come. I think Bill's not... And so I... That I think Sting retirement months <laughs> could be something that's tempting enough for him to finally say yes um i mean they don't even have to do like it doesn't even it doesn't have to be a pay-per-view match it could, and they do in january don't they do there's what are those special shows that they do it's like um not bash at the beach but what is that <sighs> there's some like they have like those themed dynamites and i believe i'm pretty sure there's one in january so I was like, I guess they could do something like, I mean, they could do Winter is Coming, I guess. Um, or they could do, so they could do a show if if this were to happen. Of course, we have no idea. Like, 
they could do that, I guess, and like do it on one of those big shows. Or I don't know if they're planning to go back to Atlanta anytime, <laughs> anytime in that period. <laughs> and because obviously Atlanta would be uh, the place for that to happen. I guess, I guess you could say maybe like Greensboro, because that was a you know the WCW stuff too. But I was like, probably Atlanta would make oh, the yeah, most Greensboro, sense. Greensboro, that would be. Yeah, I'm hoping. I, I mean, if they did that, I guess you could probably go chill. Yeah, I was gonna say I hope that, that would that's, that's I hope, near enough, right? <laughs> right. I hope before that's what. Yeah, it is near enough. It's an hour and a half away. If Sting, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If if Sting if AEW comes back anytime before Sting retires, I really would like to go. I, I mean, I, assuming he's gonna be on the show, I think he would be. And he's been on the Greensboro shows. That's where he did the thing with uh, where it was him and CM Punk and uh who else was it and they did the they did the face paint of darby right i think it was him darby and cm punk and they did the they did the uh old sting face paint and stuff like that so i could oh, see oh right yeah because that was what got jd to dig out his uh oh Black right scorpion uh yes stuff that we looked yeah at. so i, I was like so it. i could see so if they come to greensboro i my i would assume that sting would be on that card um and I would, I mean, I would, it would be easier if they just came to Charlotte. But yeah, I'm hoping that if Sting comes, because I've only seen Sting live one time and it was back when he was in TNA um, and it was at a pay-per-view um, where he was at. And so I got to see him, but he, I feel like it was, I can't remember if it was, uh, I should know. I was just, it was, was it an aces and eight stuff or was it, I don't even think it, I don't even remember if it was the singles match. I'll have to go look, but so that's the only time I've ever seen Sting wrestle live. So I would like to see him one final time if possible. So Tony, if you're listening, please come to Greensboro and or Charlotte, <laughs> put Sting on the card so that I can see him. <laughs> and I think there's been one other question that we've seen come up. Does Sting main event revolution or did they do like as it's a penultimate match where it's like neck or a double main event? <laughs> ah, yes. So Something, uh, yeah, double main. Double yeah, main. I don't know that I necessarily see Sting main eventing Revolution just because depending on storyline stuff, especially with MJF, if he's still champion at this point. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, we're almost through October. We've got full gear coming. We don't know what's going to happen there, but we know that that's the main event is Jay White and MJF. So, right. I, I mean, then, do we see MJ or do we see Jay White? If it were New Japan, I would keep my. I mean, be like, well, that he could definitely win, but <laughs> I'm not sure with the AEW. Right, and so I kind of think. Yeah, and I assume as much as I want Jay White to win, I d don't think this I is the time. I don't think this is the time. I think he, yeah. I think he will eventually be champion. Um, I think MJF probably holds it a little bit longer. There's the, still the rumored pay per view at the end of December. Who knows if that's actually happening? Um, and then Revolutions coming. Up. I mean, they could do another Battle of the Belts, but MJF is not going to wrestle a Battle of the Belts. So yeah, I could just see if, it, assuming MJF is still holding the title, I assume he would be the main event. So I could see them doing a double main event and having Sting be the penultimate match and maybe doing it there. I think that's there. probably the most likely scenario since they're not going to like have him like vying for a belt or anything. In his right. Game, so. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, Brad says, I'm still, or, I still say it's so awesome that I watched Sting as a child and now Kathy is enjoying him. That's I love that thing. too. I think it's like, freaking awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's one of the really cool things about wrestling and well, even just sports in general and just having that type of stuff. I love can, that stuff. That's see. yeah, that's a really oh, cool thing. And warms my heart. It's, especially it's the same as when I see like little kids playing with lightsabers. I'm just like, <laughs> oh yay, it's all live <laughs> on. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see, yeah, and it's the see like especially because sting wasn't supposed to be doing this like he was supposed to be retired and stay retired and he wasn't supposed to be here and so i think it's really cool to even that we're all getting to experience it with him and then you know we have other even younger generations who are getting to see sting one final time and get to understand like why he's so special and why he is the icon because he truly he truly is and so i'm glad that you know we're getting this last little run and it's 
um yeah i'm, I'm really uh, interested to just to see how tony handles it and i do expect that we'll see sting on tv more often even if he's not wrestling just being involved in the darby stuff and now we've seen with the christian so like i expect to, that will he'll just be a presence on tv uh going into to revolution most likely 